poor Barley. I forgot to tell you, we're missing a horse. You got him. Thanks, are on, y'all. Whoop. It's a whole process every time. Oh, the girls are just trying to rip the swing here. I watched them from inside and they all three got it. And then I come outside and they're not gonna get it. <sighs> and meanwhile, Bonnie is, Bonnie is at the trough. And Duke is hiding. <laughs> Look at him, oh my gosh. He's getting so big, y'all. He's getting so big. Here we are again, y'all. Whoops, if I can get up here. It's, oh, it's so close. Okay. Okay, here we go, break the release. Our friend Bailey is over here for a couple days staying with us. i tell you, that swing is like the best thing ever. Bye! See you in a little bit. Alright, gotta get through here. Got a maze. <laughs> Just left it hooked up because we're going back tomorrow. We got in late last night. We had a late practice. Well, we just got done late. We went out to eat, so we're going tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be late. With the summer temperatures, the hotter temps coming in, we're going to start riding later at night. So, okay, Lawrence is down in, let's call it Jeff's River Bottom. Um, my friends Jeff and Kara that own the farm, a couple farms over that we tend the river bottom where we get hay off of. So he's spraying burn down. And then he went this morning to get seed. He wanted to plant Sudan, but evidently they ran out. There was some miscommunication. And he's having to plant Sudex. And he said he's got to plant twice as much of that as he would if it was Sudan. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. And it's just taking him all day to get going. Uh, he had to go get the seed this morning, get the sprayer hooked up, or trailer unhooked, sprayer hooked, nozzles changed, or nozzles. I don't know. I haven't been a part of it today, honestly. Wesley's been helping him. I've been tending to things in the house, with the girls, with work. And anyway, so now I get to, I get to participate. water. I don't think I did a good job explaining this last time, so I'll try to do better this time. That poor barley. Oh my gosh, look at it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in another video, but it's all laid over because it's got a bunch of rye in it that came up, and the rye is a lot taller, and the rye ended up falling over and pushing the barley with it. He has decided he's not gonna, he's not gonna He's not going to grow barley in this field anymore. He's going to do something different. Still a little green. I still see some green. I think we might we might be ready to do barley over at the other farm this week. We'll see. And the weeds are abundant. And the clover, look at all the clover. So uh, last time I did this, I had some questions as to whether I was bringing water for the seed going in the ground. No, I'm not doing that. He is spraying the fields to kill the weeds and the grass and everything that's out there so he can come back in with the seeds. So um, I'm bringing water to fill up the spray tank when it gets empty. It looks like he's still got a half a tank. I was hoping. I was hoping he would be about done <laughs> so I could empty and go back. I am really starting to feel the um, lack of my normal sleep. It's hit me 
it hit me just driving down here. I think because it's like I got still driving. <laughs> it's like I really got to be. I was telling my friend this morning. I've really got to be a sleep snob. My sleep has become very important to me because I've realized how much better I feel when I get a solid night of sleep. So, that's that. I hear him, but I can't see him above these weeds. He's out there somewhere. <laughs> They're really tall in this field. I don't know. I think he said it was a lot of mare's tail. I don't know what that white flower is. I don't... I don't know. Oh yeah, he's still got almost a half a tank. Well, no, maybe not quite. It's sloshing around in there. Maybe a quarter. All right, he actually made it through that first field and came over here for a couple rounds. Let's see, how am I gonna back up there? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just gonna pull up sideways. Okay, good. Sideways it is. <laughs> not enough room here. This thing does not turn good at all. Anyway, here we go. Alright, let's see if she cranks. Oh, yeah. Nope. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's go home. He's going to spray that out. I'm going to send Wesley back down here to get him. And I'm going to work on supper. Steak night, y'all. Bailey loves a good steak, just like we do. And she loves corn on the cob, just like Austin. So I got corn on the cob. And she loves fried okra. That's what she gets every time we go out to eat. And so does Austin. Well, we all do. So, we're switching it up tonight. No salad, no potato. Steak corn and fried okra. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I hope so. And I made some homemade ice cream in my little Cuisinart. I haven't used it. I didn't use it at all last year. I was really on a kick two years ago when I got it. It's a little tabletop size thing. Uh, counter, countertop. And I didn't have the bowl frozen enough. So I mixed it up for a little while it wasn't getting thick so it's sitting in the freezer hopefully firm enough to eat for supper for dessert so <sighs> sounds good right about now and they're out here with the horses of courses with the horses of courses tell you they are two peas in a pod y'all two peas in a pod oh I know what I didn't tell you I forgot to tell you we're missing a horse Hank is gone for a month Hank is going to be staying at Jim's ranch getting ridden every day uh, we had a little well I, I really feel like we had a breakthrough moment yesterday there um he's just been giving austin a fit not wanting to lope and crow hopping and after her coming off the of cinch if you didn't see that check our last video uh she you know she <laughs> she didn't want to come off again right now not not the day after so um there's another guy there working a young man, an awesome young man. I'll give him a shout out. His name's Casey, and he's an amazing rider. And he got on him and rode him around and rode the rode the buck out of him. Honestly, he did because he was really giving him a fit. But um, we decided that it would be good to leave him there for a month or so, and um, and see if we can get his head and his heart turned around a little bit. I don't want my baby girl getting hurt if we can help it and um, I think there's still there's a lot of potential and we've talked about this before but she loves him so much we all do and we want him to work so we're gonna try this and see how this works so we'll see him tomorrow when we go to practice she'll be able to ride him when she goes over there and yeah I think it's gonna be a good thing y'all a good thing 
What are they doing, Duke? What are they doing? So Bailey just got roped. <laughs> Austin. Oh, what was that? <laughs> you got him. Oh, you got a toe. <laughs> Oh, steaks are on, y'all. They're huge. Look, four sirloins going up the whole grill. The whole grill. Did you want some? You want something? I will sit here so pretty if you will just give me something to eat. Please. Please. Oh, don't worry. You'll get something. All right. His sister got him. Now it's Bailey's turn. Oh. Gus is going to get the ride shotgun today. It's only going to need about two more tanks to get, get this done. Then on, on to other things. <laughs> Call him again. Yeah, <laughs> All right, that took a little while. We had to fill up the sun marker. And we used a hose because it sounds really bad, but it took a while. All right, he's off and I'm off. Okay, another busy day coming up. Um, we have practice this afternoon, but it's not till late. We still gotta leave. We still gotta leave by like 2.30. Um, woo! Uh, what, what was I gonna say? Okay, so here's all the things. So after he gets the sprayed, what did he say? Well, after he gets the sprayed, obviously then we need to seed. And he said, hopefully we're going to be in barley and seeding this week. So then we got to get the gleaner out. He's charged the batteries. He's got to get the wires hooked up. It needs to be greased. So it's going to be a busy week. And Wesley is going to be in a day camp all this week, which he loves. It's a STEM camp. He did it last year. I'll tell you more about it later. But he loved it. And I'm so excited that he gets to do it again. But we sure are going to miss him. Austin and I are going to have to step up double time this week, but it's fine. There's a chance of rain tomorrow. I don't know. We really need it to not rain so we can start doing this stuff, but we'll also take what we can get and we'll get it done when we can. All right. Made it up that hill. Whoops. I tried y'all. I set the timer, but obviously I started it a little too late. Whoopsie daisy. Oh boy. Okay, it could be worse. Okay, you two. I'll take you with me. Come here, don't get in the water because then you won't be able to go because you'll be nasty. Let's go. Oh, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That's good. That, that'll that work. Are you so hot? Here we go. Last time, I think. These girls, these girls are on the porch getting Vienna sausage. I'm telling you, they're two peas in a pod eating crackers and Vienna sausage. And Vienna sausage is disgusting to me. It just grosses me out. It smells like dog food. But Austin loves it. So does your daddy. <laughs> they can have it. Because I do not like it. Oh gosh. He's already done a lot. He's in the last little field. He's not going to need a full tank at all. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he, Rocket? Let's see. There he is. We're just going to sit here in the shade. Let me see. It looks like he's 
I don't see much water sloshing around in there, but we're just gonna park it and wait. Wait, I have the hardest time. There we go. Oh, I wasn't really thinking about having the windows down. That's a horse fly the side of rocket sides of Rocket's head. Well, it looks like he's actually done. I can't believe he did all that with one tank. Huh. Okay, I forgot he's got one other field that's up the road, so we're gonna fill up back towards the house and uh, then, then it'll be done. It's a small field. It's definitely not gonna take a full tank, but anywho. It's a whole process every time. There's the big hose and then there's a little hose and mm. yeah. Five gallon, ten gallon. I don't know about that. I'm not good with that. You aren't down the ten. top, right? Yeah. The kids are over there. They've been greasing the planter. That's good. <laughs> Bailey did not get a free pass the last two days. She's had to help feed. She's over there with them greasing this morning. She's a trooper. We love her. I don't know if she's going to come back. Last night she said, um, she said, my feet are hurting. I said, why are your feet hurting? She said, because I've been on them all day. <laughs> oh, I love that kid. All right, that's that's it, I think. Once he gets that sprain, we'll be good to go. Got to clean the trailer out from the last, last ride that didn't get done, and then we'll be on the road. Y'all, it is a warm one today. It's warm starting to feel like summer. <sighs> Knew it was coming. Knew it was coming, didn't we, Bonnie? This truck, <laughs> Lawrence said, you know this truck has air conditioning, right? I was like, yeah, and it felt good this morning, though, with the windows down. It's starting to warm up, though. Hanky poo. Oh, yeah. Hank's, Hank's in school. There's your mommy. Are you glad to see your mommy? She's glad to see you. It's been all of two days. <laughs> He's been worked. He's been worked. <laughs> Look at him standing there like a good boy. All tied too, I tell you. <laughs> oh man, he looks so good. Look at him. Slow. I mean, for Hank. Well, maybe. Woo! Good job, Wes. Good. Keeping him away from that yellow. Great. Good time. Good job, Wes. Really good. Get him, buddy. That's what we're doing. Good job, Wes. Good job. You got that done in 38 seconds. Woo! All right. Good job, man. All right. Their first time sorting together. All right. Got one. All right. Let her in. Yeah. Here she comes, Wes. Good, watch him. Okay. Oh, watch that number six. Oh, shucks. Good job, y'all.